welcome to Gemstone Tarot. This is your daily reading for Friday, 30th of November 2018. I'm channeling the 1970s ski sweater, kind of feeling quite an ABBA vibe. I have also been uh, bringing the joys of ABBA to the boy while we've been driving in the car and he likes it. Yep. Got to try and kind of stop myself doing that crazy mum thing where you go, oh yeah, let me put some ABBA on. And then you like sing it at the top of your voice so he can hardly even hear it. And he kind of looks over at you and just thinks, make it stop. <laughs> make it stop. But notice he's putting on his own playlist and listening to it. Ooh. Also noticing that in the herbal tarot, I have... Look at that. Can I show you that? I have one Rider Waite card here. So it's coming out and it's the death card. Hello. <laughs> I'm going to put you up the top. Is the fever finally going to break? Hair in my eye. Hmm. That hair in my eye thing kind of reminds me. Oh my God, a long time ago there was a, like a BBC drama it was about a photographer filming something and there was a hair in the gate. Now, I don't really know what that means, but it's something to do with photography. <coughs> hmm. That's what it feels like. There you are again. Now, I don't know what a hair in the gate is in photography, but I feel like it's something to do with when the film used to pass through the reel back in about 1900 or whenever I'm thinking, that if there was a hair that it would show and ruin the piece. There's a hair in the gate. He's back. King of Pentacles in reverse. He was here the other day. It's such a mishmash at the moment. And I suppose it will be. There's a lot of water here. I've got three major arcana. We've got the death card at the top, which is transformation. You know, death marching through cannot be negotiated. Scorpio, deep energy, the big ticket items, spiritual big jobs, all that stuff. But it kind of feels like his horse is getting a bit stuck in the mire. <coughs> Next to it, the chariot. Yin and yang, two different forces, feeling kind of torn in two directions again. I feel like it could again be like carnal and spiritual. Now, I don't just mean carnal in the sex sense. I mean of the flesh and of the spirit. That's my of the flesh and of the spirit thing. Okay. And then over here, the high priestess. Who is like the integrated feminine magician, peony. Again, I've got that new moon slung low. 7th of December in Sagittarius. I feel like that does bring a lot of clarity. Because Mercury goes direct on the 6th as well. And I feel like... That is like a, a cleansing opportunity. Because the King of Pentacles is things not being made manifest yet, not granted, not earthed, not planted, alfalfa, not minted like a coin. You know, a coin is thought about, it's energised, and then at some point it's spat out of the mint. Not yet. Knight of Wands. What is he? Aconite. Poisonous herb in brackets. Look at that. Aconite. Poisonous herb. Now, aconite. Where have I seen aconite? Isn't that a homeopathic remedy? I know you're going to know, subscribers, so come and spill the beans, okay? Poisonous herb. So I reckon, obviously, don't try this at home. Consult your doctor first before touching anything, medicine, herb or otherwise, because I don't know what I'm talking about when it comes to herbs. Presumably, if it is homeopathic in small doses, it can be all right. I don't know, but it says poisonous herb, okay? 
I think it would be poisonous to march straight on. Knight of Wands in reverse is always a call, aconite or otherwise, not to go. Blah, blah, blah. I'm going. <laughs> I'm on the horse. Are you with me? Yeah, I'm not looking back. <laughs> Splat, okay? Just feels that way. Just feels a little bit look before you leap. Queen of Cups, Lady's Mantle. That's a lot more like it. She's kind of sitting on a rock. She's not really doing anything fast. Contemplation, scrying. I don't know what Lady's Mantle is, but it feels like a very feminine kind of a plant, okay? Probably grows near water, maybe? And then in the middle of the reading, the Two of Wands. Nice card, actually. Basil, that's come up a lot. Mediterranean, looking out, keeping your horizons open because transformation is happening, but it may not be manifest. You know, when we talked the other day about a vacuum and within a vacuum, there's yin and yang, there's polarity, there's struggle, there's all of the things before something gets minted. That's what it feels like to me. Strangely unsatisfying, but at the same time, you kind of know. Very interesting reading. Really want one of those as well. Wisdom of the Hidden Realms, because it feels like a hidden realm. Scorpio, death, all that stuff. Got co-create while nothing's happening, everything is happening. We like that. But I feel it needs to be offset. Yeah. These two came out. Look. The Wise Woman of Wonderland. That's the Alice in Wonderland card. Integrity and compromise. The compromise is you can't do it yet. But also the Altar Priestess. Again, that's like the High Priestess. Preparation, prayer, sacred ritual. Not go and do it you know preparation prayer sacred ritual it's like the planning of it the feeling of it the praying of it but not the doing of it god it's been like that for ages you fire signs must be jumping out of your skin and the air signs okay let's have a healing with the angels oracle card Oh my God, this one's come up. So I, did you see how many times I shuffled? I thought shuffle, 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 but it's still there. <laughs> Notice there's quite a theme here about sitting on a rock, <laughs> sitting on a rock near water. See, look, sitting on a rock near water, sitting on a rock near water, sitting on an altar near water. No wonder the Knight of Wands is in reverse, okay? And maybe that death card is having to ride his horse through water, you know, rather than land. I mean, make no mistake, transformation comes whether we're ready or not, but at the same time, it's not just yet. Ooh, leave me a comment. Let me know how that resonates, okay? I'll see you soon. Namaste.